How you doing? I'm doing good. I'm ready to to interview y'all. What's up, my brother? Uh, so if <laughs> so, look, oh, oh, I'm Charmaine. Oh, oh. If you didn't know, and this is my husband Neek. What's up? It's your boy Neek Bay. Yes, and it's your girl Charmaine Bay, and this oh, is our podcast, oh, Marriage oh, and Mirage. Oh. Today we we always say like today we have a special episode, but I feel like today is the most special episode we've ever had because this couple's story just touches me in a way that no other story has ever, ever touched me. I mean, I want to laugh. I want to cry. And I want to get all up in y'all business. Okay. <laughs> so we have our special guests with us, Lynn and Jamal. What's good? What's good, Jamal? So... All right now. So um I am, I am. <laughs> So y'all story just touches me so much. Um for those watching who may not know this couple story, they were in a relationship together, correct? And yeah. um unfortunately Jamal got shot in in the head and um had brain injury, sustained brain injury with that. But moving forward, now obviously they have a child together. Moving forward, right. Lynn has stood by his side and is taking and care of him. And <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we got to get, we need to know everything about your relationship. But of course, we want to just start off with how you're doing. Um, it is Wednesday. It's a great day. We feel great. We are super excited about this. Yeah. Great. Great. I'm just as excited as Jamal, okay? <laughs> I'm just as excited as you, Jamal, on this. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Hell yeah, hell yeah, okay. We need we need some shirts for Jamal to say hell we yeah. We were going to tell you guys, we got merch. We got hell yeah, we got the yeah, right? And this wow. is our new one. See, um, look. Y'all actually made this for him. And wow. our stuff is Love Saved You, because love actually saved him. Yeah, that's amazing. So, so tell us y'all's story. Where where do we even start? Uh, oh man, oh. <laughs> it's a lot. Where do we start? Like, yeah, it's a lot. I don't know. Um, uh, just go. Yeah. Okay, so. Uh, so uh, um. What? Go ahead. Uh, <laughs> I feel you, Jamal. I know she oh. fine. I know she beautiful. She fine. <laughs> She looks yeah. like she smells good, huh? <laughs> okay, so um, my father, he ended up getting hurt. I was doing some modeling um, probably around like 2010. I had just graduated. And he had got a truck, put TVs, um, tires, everything that guys do for their vehicles. He ended up getting like a car, um, car vehicle type of thing with the guys. And he went to, in Minnesota, there's a, a bar in, it's over south called Rudolph's. Well, long story short, when he was getting out the car, someone got in the car and he heard the person shut the door. He turned around. He's like, you know, don't take my car. He got on the step to the truck to tell them don't take it. And they drove off. So when he, he was on the car and they drove and hit him into like the oncoming traffic. So my dad ended up getting a brain injury. So mm -hmm. when it came to him, it was like my dad had already lived for about six years in the nursing home and I was suctioning him and taking care of him. So when this happened with Jamal, it was something that was familiar, but that's the beginning of like my story is it started with my father, with my wow. experience. Wow. And then me and him, we met and oh, yeah. I don't know, we were <laughs> Oh. You know what? When it comes to your dad, I mean, how how were you able? Because like I lost both of my parents, okay, yeah. and then um, we were just talking last night. Like I can't imagine losing my husband, and I've already lost both of my parents. Like how oh, yeah. tragic that is. How did you feel in the moment when you know you, you find what out what happened with Jamal, which we'll get to. But how did you feel in that moment? Like, oh my God, like again. I I 
for you. Okay. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. She might ask you some questions uh, about it too. Uh, no, you fine, but you go ahead. Yeah, you can keep going, Jamal. Tell me. You said I feel like this, and you were telling us about your, yeah. your the shooting. Yeah, I like yeah. In the hospital. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I feel like I feel I feel bad and bad and bogus. Yeah, he said he feel bad and bogus that it happened to him. Mm. Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, really unbelievable. Cool. Like me, I got shot. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. Uh, right. Ready to fight about it. Right. Ready yeah. to fight about it. But yeah. we're so glad that yeah. you did not lose your life and that you're still here, and and you're yeah. smiling every day. And like that also goes to show. No matter what anybody in this world is going through, you can find a reason to smile after. And like, I really yeah, feel like yeah, that's yeah. the message that, that you give us, Jamal. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. <laughs> Praise God. He doesn't have like a, um, a lot of down days either. He get frustrated and stuff, but not every day. Like about talking and walking, but on an everyday basis, he wake up like this. Like it make you be like, mm -hmm. stop complaining about other stuff because he has it way harder and we can get up, walk, talk, run upstairs, do everything. And we'd be complaining about little stuff. And if you didn't have it, then you, you, you probably wouldn't even try as hard. I think he's super, super strong. Yeah, very strong. So strong. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now tell us. What y'all story is as far as before the incident, um, you know, how did y'all meet? And oh, obviously you have a child together. So tell us everything. Okay. So I was coming from Denver. Um, I was pregnant. I had just was with someone. I was kind of coming out of like a, a really bad situation. Um, I had made it to 20 weeks had a gender reveal. My son had died. I had to come all the way back to Minnesota to have my surgery. Um, I was really, really depressed. And this was in May. He had just got out of prison on the 30th or the 31st. So we met in July. My cousin, she was talking to one of his friends. She's like, hey, girl, get up. There's some guys. We got to go. I'm like, no. Like, I just lost my whole baby. My man's crazy. Like, it was horrible. And she talked me into it, and we met at Lotus. It's a Chinese place, and nice. he sat across from me. There were six of us. We had shrimp fried rice. We had oyster wings. Wow. And he got me because <laughs> there was two pieces of shrimp left. And he was like, you know, hey, pretty girl, you want this shrimp? And I'm like, oh, yeah. Mm. And the whole time, he don't even eat shrimp. So I'm thinking, oh, he's sweet. <laughs> 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 Jamal, you got her with that one. <laughs> <You funny? laughs> yeah, that, sure. That's how you pulled her, okay? That's how you pulled her. That's real cute. <laughs> Walking and vibing. And like I said, I was super depressed. So he was my first, like, happiness from all of that. And we, we he took me out of town probably two weeks later. We were just vibing. And it was just good energy. It was like something that I needed. Right. And then when he told me he had just got out of prison, I'm like, oh, my God, here you go. Like, in Minnesota, the women love men who just got out of prison. I'm like, somebody going to be pregnant. It's going to be something. I don't want no parts. We're going to be friends. Yeah. That's what I was about to say. <laughs> so um, I ended up being right. By the time that we were, well, we met at the beginning of July, my birthday was coming up. Okay. And he called me and he's like, man, remember you told me that um, that might happen? And he was like, yep, it did. And it was damn, one of Jamal. I didn't feel no type of way though. You know, like, we just met. But it was like, damn. Like, <laughs> I'm glad y'all could laugh about it, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad y'all could laugh about it. Months later, after that, we what? That was July. We didn't get together until like October. Okay. Yeah. So you let it like sink in a little bit. You like, all right, yeah. like, yeah. <laughs> right. He he got a little crazy because in October I ended up getting pregnant. So we were both pregnant with our sons, okay. but I ended up losing my son probably at like what 16 weeks or something. Yeah. So then wow. um, I got a. Up here, you can't see if there's some wings up here. I got my baby's ashes. I got his footprints. I got his handprints. 
Um, I got everything for him. And, and this is your second child that you lost. Yep. After your dad had his brain injury. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you have gone through a lot, Lynn. Yeah. You've yep. gone through a lot. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Uh, now, but we do, we did get blessed the next year with our baby boy, baby Jamal. Okay. Um, his dad actually, when I say everything happens for a reason, my son is one pound, 11 ounces. He came 25 weeks. Wow. Um, I was at work. And he called me and he said, has the baby been kicking? And I'm like, no, when I say we were baby Doppelin, you know, putting it on, put the dates, the time, everything, making sure everything was ready. He called, I said, no, the baby didn't kick. He went online, found a bunch of different things for me to do. I was like, no, nothing happened. He said, go to the hospital right now. So for me, I was like, I'll just wait. Right. No, go right now. I went at that moment. They said I had preeclampsia. They was like, I should have fainted how high my blood pressure was. I called him. He was there within five minutes. It happened so fast. It was like the oxygen was on my face. The epidural was in my back. They cut me open, pulled the baby out. And he was in my phone talking about, who is this nigga? Wait. (laughs) Wait a minute. Who was the nigga? Who was the nigga? Who was he? His cousin. And I was like, did we not just have a baby? (laughs) Jamal, was he serious? And you know when you have a C-section, you got the the curtains right here. So what? The curtains were still up, sis. I'm not finna play with y'all. <laughs> I'm like, did the baby have long hair or anything? Like, did you see the baby at all? Right. <laughs> he was like, I'm not the daddy. Who's this man in your phone? <laughs> I can't see. I can't believe him. I can believe him. Wow, that is that's yeah, kind of that's sure. definitely a. a hospital for four months and I just okay. kind of like pumped brought the milk there and we just kind of were parents from the house you know whenever they would let us come see we would just come there um I helped him get a painting company I had a cleaning business so nice. we were able to you know go and come uh, yeah you no, had that what, big stack of money <laughs> big stack of money okay <laughs> hello hello <laughs> 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 you funny as hell. <laughs> no, no, keep going. So, um, the baby came out. He playing with you. Talk about who, who this nigga in your phone? Yeah. And where did y'all yeah. go from there? Oh, you, you started the the companies, okay? Yeah. So, yeah. Um, we had a baby shower after everything. <laughs> so our baby shower was it was the most loving, ghetto is baby shower ever. I'm talking about. He likes poker and stuff and dice. So they were shooting dice on the tables. We had all the men pregnant with the bellies, tying their shoes. Um, we kind of did reverse roles where mm-hmm. I had him opening the packages while I stood back. And, you know, all his friends, they participated. It, it was fun. We had drinks. It was really, really loving. Like That's so cute. The best thing that I could have. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then that night, oh, we got into oh, it because oh, oh, oh. <laughs> he knew it was coming. <laughs> They had, at the time, this was 2019, they had a stroller. No, it was a, a sleeping thing for a $1,000. And it was like, you put your baby in it, snuggle it, and it's going to rock. I was like, I need that. He's like, all right, I know exactly cool. what you're talking about. It. I needed it. My mom, she was like, she don't need to get that. He like my baby one, and I'm getting it. So he's shooting dice at the baby shower, and it was time to go. Mom turned the lights off on him, and he was like, "Man, if you don't get your goofy ass out of here, so now everybody is in an uproar. They mad. She mad at him. He mad at me because it's my mom. And we had to go to the hospital. The hospital called and they said, "Can you bring some milk?" So it's me, him, and his best friend Don. Now Don is also a person who has been here helping me with him, like night and day. He got up. Like six kids, a girlfriend, and he was still able to be here. Wow. So that's if a real they friend. wanted to be here for him, they yeah. would be here because yeah. he lived an hour away and he was still coming for me. Right. Um, so we drive into the hospital. I'm mad, talking stuff. He was trying to rush me for seeing the baby and bringing the milk. So when we leave, he had a a truck that had the um the radio comes out with the TV. Oh, um, y'all got some souped up vehicles out there. Souped up. I was so mad I couldn't take it no more. I put his seat back. Mind you, I had just had a C-section. I put my foot up, kicked the radio. The TV messed up. He was mad. I woke up the next day feeling like I got hit by a truck. Wow. Oh, my goodness. I felt my, my stomach was hurt. I thought my stitches bust open. Yeah. Right. But we always, like, 
are you figured out and we be right back like together like we are we are really really good balance like a really yeah i love that i love that so like crazy a little toxic, right? A little toxic, toxic, toxic is yeah, cute sometimes. <laughs> now you two end up. Oh, go ahead, Jamal. <laughs> so y'all ended up having your baby, and you know it was definitely traumatizing in the beginning. But the baby is healthy, and yeah. fast forward to what led up to the tragic day that Jamal got shot. Okay, so he had um was it a box? A bag? Uh, a box or a bag of his grandma's necklace. His grandma had um she had recently just passed. So he had like a backpack full of her stuff. Well, we had got into it maybe like a month prior to this happening, and he had moved all his stuff to his friend's house. So something in this day made him be looking for his grandma's earrings, necklaces and stuff. And he couldn't find it. So he was like, when he get mad, he'd be mad. He cussing everybody out. He coming for everybody. So he's calling people, asking where's his stuff. I think he went to his family's house. He was right. arguing with him. It was kind of like, it made me feel like when something bad is going to happen to you, your whole day is just not its usual day. Yeah. Like everything is just going down. Like we were arguing over stupid stuff. Um, so that's how the day was later that night, probably seven o'clock. He had called me and apologized. Like I was just having a bad day. You know, it's just something about today, you know, just a bad day. He ended up getting shot at 845 or 846. Wow. His friend called me and said, um, Jamal got shot and he's dead. And I'm like, like, boy, get off my phone. You know, like it just, it did not hit me. I called his phone and he did not answer. And then it really started like, oh my God, this is real. I had my son in my hand and I ran upstairs. At this point, uh, we were still staying at my mom's house. I ran upstairs. I told her, I threw the baby to her. And I was like, I don't know, somewhere over north. All I had was my keys. I left, my car was on E. I went to where they told me he was at. The ambulance was taking him. My mom called a family friend and they had met me there. So he drove my car because I was like bawling, crying. We headed and to the And at the time hospital. you thought he had passed. He was dead. I didn't know he just got shot. I'm thinking like he he's dead. He's not here no more. <clears throat> that's it. So when I pull up to the hospital, there was like five people outside. They're like, hey, that's the wife right there. Talk to her. Talk to her. So the people, the security and the hospital, hospital said he got grazed in the head and he got shot in the chest. So now I'm like, oh, okay, well, you know, that's not that bad because, you know, grazing the head means your head is cool, shot in the chest. Okay, you can take that. You know, he's strong. He work out every day. You know, I'm feeling a little bit better than what the phone call was. And were you, what, did you have a confirmation at that point that he was still alive? Yes. Yep. Oh, wow. That's amazing. Yep. So I leave. Yeah, 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 yeah. hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah, okay. Or she was like, for real. Yeah. I leave to go to the scene because it wasn't that far. They told me to go get the car, which was my car that he was driving at the time. Wait, so I'm the, sorry. I, Why did he get shot? What happened? It was kind of like a wrong place, wrong time type of thing. No. That was it. He said, well, no, okay, tell so us the truth, Jamal. Yeah, tell, tell us the truth. He said it was. I, I, yeah. Say this. Say it all. I was like, I was like, I was like. Slow down. Uh, yeah, yes, slow down. No, go back. Just be slower. Just be slower. Like, okay, so for me, do you feel like someone intentionally tried to hurt you? Yeah. I do that. I do Yeah, I do. I do. I do that. Yeah, I do. So basically, the paperwork that came back to us it showed otherwise that it wasn't a situation that was like this. Um, to even shorten it, it was more even like if he would, he got out the car and ran and if he didn't get out the car and ran, he would still be here. Well, he is here. He got shot. Well, no, I'm saying this would have never even happened. You know, he would never got shot. What so, was the person that was the person that shot him caught? <clears throat> no. Yeah, it's, like, it's complicated, but no. Do you know who shot you, Jamal? Yeah. Mm. So it's not yeah. was it a, was it a, somebody that you actually like knew for a while or just know around the way? 
I know him, right? I know him. You knew him. I knew him, right? I know him, 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 I uh, I uh, <clears throat> what, with the fight and everything after? Yeah. Okay, so when it had happened, the boy who we thought had shot him, he ran into the house and chased him and fought him. And there was people, hmm? no, that we thought shot you is what I'm saying. No, he was never hurt. He said he shot him too. Yeah, I did. You I shot did. him back, Jamal? Yeah, I did. Oh, I didn't know the boy was yeah, ever shot. The police, they never said that anybody else got took in the ambulance. The only thing that, or the only person was him. So I didn't know that somebody but else got shot. But of course, shot. because dude, if he got dude, shot. Dude, shot in the chest. See, that's what they were saying was the accident for him being shot in the chest. They uh-huh. said that nobody else. They, he no. was grazed. He got shot in the chest. Oh, see, and so this Jamal was Jamal shot problem. the other guy in the chest after... Correct. After you got shot, Jamal, or before? You shot him. So what led up to this? Like, what was he trying to steal the necklaces or like no, what happened? No. I, 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 no, I, I, no. Because it was not a. Oh, oh. <laughs> so I'm nobody, nobody was actually too. arrested. No. Yes. But they weren't arrested for that. I, but they still were arrested because he got shot and they were there and they did shoot off a firearm as well. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, so who's the person it that was got... a situation where, like, be, because guys are so, like, um, if you seen a, if you were in the streets and you seen somebody and they had an all-black mask and a gun, you would think they're coming for you. This was during, you know? this was during COVID, so... You were supposed to be in the house for one. And it was a situation where if everybody would have been kind of like minding their own business, other people would have never gotten other people's business. Like, right. it kind of went like this and it wasn't supposed to be. Like, he was doing his own thing and the other people were doing their own thing. And I feel like men just were like, hold on, who is that? That looked weird. And then we went off and everybody started shooting. Business. Everybody started so shooting. So that's why I said wrong place, wrong time, because if you would have never got out the car, now there's just bullets flying everywhere. So you don't really know who did what. Wow, and the person that shot Jamal, have y'all seen him since? Like, what's that like? I did. I did. Wow. I want you to ask him, why would he want to go see the person who shot him? You went and saw the person that shot you? (laughs) Tell us about it. Why why did you want to do that? So, I can't, you know... Add on or have uh, words, but I was I was so upset. Uh, I yeah yeah all right all right. Did you tell him that? Yeah, I did. I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I what? Right. Now, was this the second time you seen him, or was the the very first time you seen him? Like when you had just came home and your family had took you to him. It was that time. Yeah. Was did he have the bone in his head at the time? Yeah. So that one, I, I don't know if you remember that without the bone. I don't think you do. So um, when I brought him home, he had a dent in his head. He didn't have the bone yet. So because his his brain wasn't stable, a lot of things that happened at that time, you're not really able to remember because it's not stable. And then when he got the bone in, like there was a time where he didn't even know who I was. He didn't know who his son was. You know, we were just like strangers in the house. So that's what I'm trying to figure out. Like he, his, some people, um, his family did come pick him up and bring him to the guy to see if he remembered, but he didn't have the bone in. So when it came out like three months later, it was like, why didn't nobody say this at the time that this happened? Cause for one, like that's dangerous, that's scary. Like, and then it's like mm-hmm. secrets. It was just, it was crazy. Yeah. 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 But I think it was well, also some was closure too. Time when he was yeah. a little bit more stronger that he came to see him. Yeah. So he saw him more than once, the person that shot him. Yeah. At the first time, so they twice. took him just to see if like he knew 
I feel like it was a lot of like, let me see what Jamal knows. Can Jamal talk type of thing? And that was the first time he seen him. Well, I don't even think like he knew what was going on. Right. And then the second time he probably was like, okay, now I'm on you. What, why did you, what happened? Wow. So, so the brother that you guys went to go see, like, who is he like in the community? Like, is, is he known or is he like somebody that is like low key yeah, or something? So. Yeah. 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 Your, your brother? Um, him and uh, Don and Jamal have known each other for probably like since they were like seven. This seven, is eight? the guy that shot him, Don. No, no. this is um, Don is his best the best friend. friend. Okay, yeah, yeah, he's um, shoot, he's he's been here, he's been here, right, right. Yeah. So Don took him the second time. No, his cousin, his act, his family came and said, "Hey, I want to see him," and their bright idea said, "I'm going to take him to this boy." So they never how, called how, him. Like, who's, the, who's the guy? Who's the boy? And like, how did y'all know it was it was him to even bring to him? Bring uh Jamal in. Um, Jamal's family. He, they were just like, hey, we want to see Jamal, and we let him go with him. We let him go with his family. Right. But how did y'all know that this was the guy that shot Jamal? Just people who were there in the in the community, they saw it. Uh, um... Yeah, like his family knew. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. This was a kind of one of the things, like one of those type of things where, like, the streets knew, like the streets was talking, and people kind of no, put no, two. No. You know, to me, how like, like the streets be talking, but when when family have secrets, secrets stay between family. Yeah. yeah. I feel like it was one of those things. Like the streets have everybody's been having these speculations and stuff like that, but right. nobody like knew knew. But like when family knows, it don't even get out the front door because right. we family like, and it's, it's Jamal's family, but I think it was like his half side of his cousin type of thing. Now is the is the dude that did it, is he any way related or friends or or any connection yeah, with you guys? Yeah. Yeah. No, that would be it would be Jamal's cousin, half brother. That shot Jamal. Whoa. Now is that is that um because obviously who was with Jamal at the time when this happened? To even confirm something like that, or is it just really based on he say, she Jamal say. putting two and two together? Um, he was with three other people in the car, but remember they pulled off when this had happened. So wow. then this would still have to be kind of like he say, she say, because he was already shot at the time and the car was gone. So I guess people that were already around. So so I remember you said that he had ran out the car, and that's when he he got shot so walk us through like uh you know if you know like where were they going and um you know even the brothers in the car like why did he personally run out of the car and the brothers like drive off like how, how did all that happen uh, uh, I, 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 uh yeah yeah you were with Don first. Y'all were getting haircuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Don, Don, yeah, uh, uh, Don, they were getting yeah. haircuts, and his friend said that he had to leave, so that's how they split up, and he ended up being by himself. Okay. Got it. So he, but when he actually got shot, though, anybody, any of those three guys seen him getting shot, or it's just kind of like when they left, yeah, that's when he. Uh, he said no. He he don't think they seen him. Oh wow, such a devastating story. Okay, so go back to the day that it happened, and you now find out that he's actually not dead. That a bullet grazed his brain or his head, and he was shot in the chest. Take us from there. Okay, so we're at the hospital. I went back to the scene. I grabbed the car from where he was shot. Brought it back to the hospital. And the guy who my mom had called and she's like, hey, go meet her. He drove one car. I drove the other car. And on the way back, the the no, um, the hospital, they called and they said, we need to do a surgery. Can you make can you say yes, basically, for the surgery? So I'm thinking, like you just said, he was grazed. You know why? So the people who had told us that they actually did not have the right information because that had started a lot of a BS too, as if like, oh, I was lying about where he got shot when that's what they had told me. So that's why I didn't know that the other boy got shot because they had where people were getting shot at incorrect anyways. Right. So I told the hospital, yeah, you guys can do the surgery. Um, I'm headed there, 
drop the cars off. Now his family is there, but they thought they were there first because they didn't see me there when I had first got there. So I come to the to the front doors. I'm like, hey, can I get an update? The hospital was like, we can't talk to you. So I'm confused because I'm like, when I first got there, y'all spoke with me. Then y'all just called me on the phone and I gave y'all the okay to give him a surgery. And they said, his mom said, we can't speak with you. Wow. So I was already kind of like, in my own emotions because of how much detail they were saying was messed up with his brain. So I was, I, I walked away. I didn't, I didn't want to talk to nobody. I was confused. Like if you just called and they just said that, you know, kind of like, why did you tell them that? Um, and I, and I just left, you know, I called my mom and I told her that the doctors are saying they can't talk to me now because his mom is telling them that people were saying, because we are not married, that it would, who cares if we were together for 20 years, the mom comes first unless, you know, we're married. And shoot, I was uh, just, uh, the POA didn't come then. It did. No, it did not. Yeah, I mean, you were in the hospital at this yeah, point. Yeah, I, 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 so at this point now, they're talking to his mom, telling her all the updates and everything. Um, yeah, uh, they told everybody that Jamal had passed. So everybody was on the internet saying, rest in peace, when the <laughs> hospital said he was brain dead. So it was just kind of like you, you didn't know like the medical terms and stuff like that. You yeah. interpreted it wrong. Right. Right. Well, you're in a coma. Yeah. Wow. How long was he in a coma for? Um. What did you say, Oh, you got shot at three months. He was in a coma for three months, and at this point, I'm trying to see him. Well, wait. He was induced in a coma for about a month to take the swelling down, and then they said he should wake up, and because he didn't wake up, they that's why they were trying to um donate his organs because he wasn't so awake and he didn't wake up. So wow. remember it was COVID. So we couldn't get in the hospital. So you had to be a person on the list. So I'm like, I want to see him. And then that's when like my next shoot straddle of problems came because I couldn't get my name on the list. That's so, insane. And you're his baby's right mother. Right. right. And they were kind of like, basically your baby mom's stay your baby mom type of thing. Wait, and so I'm is this like, like Jamal's family that was kind of doing that? Yeah. Ooh, I'm like, Jamal, don't Jamal, you think Jamal. That he would want to, you know, hear <laughs> some voice. Like, <laughs> Jamal said, I ain't got nothing to do with this. What, what is it, this it, it was what, really ghetto. It was really, really what is ghetto. this about the whole organ donating thing? Like, what were they, um, they were trying to rule him out as dead or something and they wanted to donate his organs? Like, was he telling that to his family? They were trying to, to kick family? him out of the hospital so fast. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah. It was you would have thought that he never even got shot in the head. Like I was telling them, like he didn't fall off no bike. Like why are y'all rushing? Right. Like it it was crazy. Yeah. Planning to donate his organs and he's very much still alive. Yep. Yeah. That's insane. And you said the the brother that um, allegedly shot him, the cousin half brother, he had to get surgery as well. No, I don't think he um. got anything. Okay, I thought you said somebody else had to get surgery. Okay, can we can they we like messed up on everybody? Like right, it was a huge there. discommunication. Can we Very. backpedal real quick on just on this this guy allegedly being the one that that shot him? What would be the motive for him? Is it like jealousy or is it uh, money? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> oh, oh. Jealousy. jealousy. Yeah. Uh, money. Money. Uh, I, 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 well, we have two different perspectives. <laughs> I still from the so they give you like a pamphlet of like after everything happens and it still looks like wrong place, wrong time. Like if you, it don't look like it was still directed for him. 
to me, anybody could have been that person running outside and they would have got hurt. The only thing is the the um, the odds of the person shooting him being uh, a relative. That's is, crazy. That's 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 like one out of a million when it comes to being in the wrong the block place that the he was time. on. It was kind of like a family block. So like the house that he okay. was at and across the street. That was why he was over there, basically kicking it. And then he was supposed to go and do poker or something. But so, that's even more crazy for it to be like a family block and everybody knows that. And for gunfire to happen, like, hell yeah. yeah, it yeah. could, it could be like, I, I understand your point when, where you, you know, weren't there, you got the story and like, this is what you were told. Right. And then I also understand Jamal's point where he's like, that shit don't add up. Like it was jealousy. Something else had to do with this. Yeah, it was, it was. So so what what happened before that situation, whether it was a day or a couple of days, did you ever get in an argument with him about anything recently? Oh uh, yeah. Damn. Yeah. We don't know. We don't know Jamal. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Take your turn. All right. Uh 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 your auntie? Yeah. 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 When you got hurt, this was my first time even hearing about this. Yeah. Person. Uh, all right. Well, you have to say yeah. this. So he's okay. trying to explain stuff that happened with his family, but we weren't involved with his family. Yeah. So we don't yeah. know all the stuff. Cause we, we, and I feel like this isn't like um, his immediate family. This is, I don't know, further down the line, you know, right. like, like half cousin's brother did, yeah. did he did he ever go to the hospital or anything or? like the person that shot him did he ever come see jamal no mm -hmm. and it makes sense how the family was involved to take jamal to this guy and see if he remember or whatever the case was because it was like a family matter yeah right right yeah of course y'all would want to i know the... i know i i know i oh uh, say a call right now oh i know we had to. You're asking him what happened? No, he said right now. If you call him right now, I'll be like, what happened? And that's why I tell him, like, what? He would act weird. Right. Oh, man. Hell no. He acting stupid. Yeah, right. Yeah, Cause he, he knows that you can't, like, basically say like it was definitely you, and and for this reason or whatever the case. Oh, uh, I, I am, I am. Man. You told him like I know. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I know. I, I am. Like, he just played it dumb. Know. Right. I you know. know. Right. Right. I know. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Now, have you, yeah. Lynn, have you ever had a conversation with this, with this, with this dude, the, uh, his, his cousin's half brother? Have you ever had a conversation with him before? Yeah, he he's came here when it happened. Um, he gave very um, guilty vibes. Like, I can't look at him. I can't see him. Um, but, but he never said anything. He was just kind of quiet. Right. And then in no mutual family members or friends could um, corroborate the story of them having a disagreement or anything? Like, because it seems like they had, something. it seems like something had happened before. I don't think he will ever know. It's kind of, um, you know how family I argues? Do, I do, I do, I do. Yeah, but I feel like they would talk around you. I you, feel think, like you think maybe it was, it was like, uh, maybe like, because I know you said y'all play dice and y'all play poker. Was it a situation where it was off, on, off a card game or y'all was arguing oh, yeah. about who cooler or like, like because we could tell you fresh Jamal. Or maybe he was okay. maybe he was cracking jokes on them or like like uh, 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 I... <laughs> I know. You're right. You're right. Yeah, I you right. I know. I know. I know. I know. Yeah. 
Now, you're talking about to the one who had came out the door, right? No. You saying that you said this to to the boy? Yeah. Okay. Did you yeah. did you did you and him ever get into a fight before? Like a punt like fist fight? Like actually fighting? No. Before you got shot. Okay. No. I feel like the wow. boy was so irrelevant. I was like, who is this? Okay. Who are you talking about? It took me forever to figure it out. Okay. Oh. Right. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, yeah. You shot him? Yeah. No, you did not shoot him. I did. No. You shot the gentleman that had the Draco. <laughs> that is not the person that shot you. That's what I was it's just two trying different to tell people. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, so the dude with the Draco, is that the person that shot him? No. Okay. That's who we all thought it was because he was there. The person mm -hmm. who he's saying did it, he was on the other side of the street in his house and then he came out with a gun. But he wasn't there. Okay. I don't know if he shot from like where he was or what, but he wasn't like where it had happened at. So there there was no investigations at all about about this kind of right? Mm -hmm. Is did all the family just kind of kept it undercut? Nope. Yeah. They had the police there in the investigation. Uh I think they told them the wrong address though. And nobody I went to jail for this. No, they just got picked up, but like also like little crimes, like, oh, you might've had maybe like some marijuana or something, but nobody went for him though. Right. That's, that's fucked up if you ask me, cause there's no uh, way yeah. that I'm gonna sustain a brain injury for the rest of my life. And, you know, have to go through hospital bills and therapies and, you know, my life is altered and ain't nobody sitting behind bars for this. like. That's wild. I think because it sounded because it was so complicated. Or because we're black, right? And well, no, I think because it's, if it's within family, it's very it's, hard to yeah. to get. That, that's the, the, the first truth. thing. Right there. Just, the, yeah. the family knew. The family was like, donate his organs. They didn't want to deal with it. They didn't want to deal with the whole situation and and to just yeah. pause so right the, the fam the family was 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 okay with the the or his organs being donated. But that's or what I was about to say is. Jamal is, just to give you like a, a short background, um, kind of like the head, head honcho, you need help, I'm going to help you. Um, everybody loves Jamal, fly, arrogant, cocky, you know, whatever. So for me, watching everything play out was kind of like, you always talking shit, um, you, you got the best of everything, people are happy to see this happen to you. So That's crazy. you're not yeah. always the, the nicest person and you always bragging and stuff. Maybe your family was like, Shit. Jealousy. Right, because when yeah, I think of this you know, cousin and, and half-brother... People got to stop acting like jealousy don't happen in families. Just, just because no, we got to yeah, see... Oh, that's where it starts. Yeah, it's all over. That's, that's where, where it starts. That's where you first see it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And when I'm thinking about this cousin half... This cousin's half-brother type of dude, and I'm thinking of a big family, automatically I'm thinking that he wasn't even, like, accepted like everybody else was. And if he's outside the box looking at him, you know, you got this brother that got his shit together, got a beautiful girl... Got you know cars, saying, making money, got jewelry. You know, attractive. You know, he. It he made wanna... it even worse because his cousin. When I met him, I thought his cousin's baby mom was his cousin. Just to find out that this was the baby mama that's always hanging out with him. So now your cousin probably feeling some type of way because your baby mama always around you, and he not even around you like that. He is, but he ain't. So this is the cousin that shot him. No, the, the cousin. The, this is, the, the bro, okay. his half brother. Right, right, right. Got it, got it, got it. Right. Wow. So. So, crazy. so what's, talk to us about. Um, well, no, I want to hear the hospital drama. She wasn't even on the list. Ron well, said, no, like, we who wouldn't that. be able to put it in in an hour? This, this stuff be all over the place. No, like when you, so when you, it, it, it seems like he's um, getting smarter by the day. Talk to us about the, um, what they thought it was going to be like with him um, versus like his development and, and you being there and helping him. Uh, Not you, her. Uh, oh, it's okay. Yeah. Jamal. <laughs> Look at Jamal. He was at the hospital, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. Jamal, uh, funny as hell. So keep it short for that part. I think everybody just was kind of like, he ain't gonna be the same. We don't want him to be here. 
my feelings were different, which is why I was like, I need to get in the hospital. I need to see him. In 2019, he had a, a case and we ended up doing POA paperwork and it put me in charge of the finances and his medical. So when all this was happening and I couldn't see him, I'm like, mom, we got to find my paperwork because I can't see him. And they have a, um, a cold you got on the phone. So I couldn't get the cold. I couldn't get to the hospital, just nothing. So I never knew no update beside like my mom talking to his mom, trying to figure it out. I finally found my paperwork. And when I say God is good, I swear he is all the time. Um, I was coming to bring my paperwork in and his mom had finally let me come and see him. It was supposed to be my goodbyes. Well, they didn't know that when they were making the decision to pull the plug, it was supposed to be in person and not on the phone. Wow. So because I was already coming and I had my paperwork, as I'm leaving, the doctor's like, you know, where y'all going? We got to have this meeting. So she's like, oh, I'm thinking this is supposed to be on the phone. He's like, no, it's supposed to be, you know, in-house. Right. So now I got my my, um, my stuff out, like, hold on, like, what, you know, what's going on? We go in the back to have the meeting and the doctor is explaining what's wrong with him. And if we're going to continue with the decision, well, she had to call the other person who was supposed to be there. When she called the other person, which is his cousin, she was pissed. She was pissed that I was there because she right. knew that I was going to be like, I want him to be here. And because I got my POA paperwork, now that tops mom, dad, whoever right. with my decision. So mm. that's how he ended up being able to be here. I had my paperwork and I was in the office that day saying, I'm going to keep him. They was like, he got a brain bleed. Well, remember, my son was already... One pound, 11 ounces with a brain bleed. He has cerebral palsy. We beat that. I was like, oh, for sure. Like, he's, he's staying. Like, we're right. not pulling no plugs. And wow. that's wow. how he ended up being here. Ooh, do, do y'all talk to the mama now? Where the mama at? He talks to the mom every day. Um, I feel like my feelings are still really, really hurt. I feel like this was a situation where, like, me and her were close. Like, their relationship was a little bit rocky, but, like, I really was dealing with his mom, picking her up, chilling with her, come over here. So when this happened, it was like, this is your son. I needed you, you know? Yeah. And for her to kind of, like, block me out really, like, was like a punch to the face in a way. You Not know? only block you out, but, like, pull the plug on her son. Like, that's wild to me. That's wild. That's wild. How do you oh, feel about that, your mom? Because you talk to her every day, and that's still your mom. I understand, yeah. but like, how were you? Able, are you over that part? No. Mm. No. Uh, I. 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 Oh uh, yeah. I. 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 Yeah. It's a little bit different. Yeah. It's it did it. It's yeah, different. Right. Yeah, me. Yeah. Oh, me. <laughs> me. Yeah. Right. Like, right. Yeah, me. And I feel like she used to be like, so team us, team us. Like, I could call her and be like, your son getting on my nerve today. And she'll help me figure it out. He could do the same. And now it's different where it's like, Oh, son, I got this new girl for you. And son, I got this new person. And, you know, he didn't he didn't left for 30 days because they didn't found somebody that they felt could be better than me. And it didn't work out. And it's just like stuff like that. Like nah, the moment weird, he lose his bro. voice, which is to me like his power, it's like anybody can do anything because he's he's still getting stronger. You know, you can't now for one thing, you can't pull the same stuff you did a year and a half today. Right. Right. Because it's been a year and a half since this happened. It's been going on. It's about four to be four. Years. Um, it's going on three years. About to be four years. Three years. Wow. Half, yeah. So how has years. how yeah, has uh, me, bro. the the cognitive development been? Um, like, do you got is it like therapy and stuff that he still goes through and stuff like that? Like, what's the oh, what's yeah. the daily Every stuff? Thursday. Wow. And you see you see a lot of a lot of improvement from each hell session. Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. That's dope. <laughs> Yeah, because uh, I, I mean, I'm not going to lie, Jamal, I can understand you and I can only imagine how good that makes you feel that other people oh, yeah, yeah. can understand you and like, you look good. You're very handsome. I see you still getting your haircuts and, you know, even the way you touch your hair, I can tell you, you like your haircut. You know what I'm saying? I can tell you like your haircut. You know, you got your jewelry on. Um uh -huh. Right. What, what, what kind <laughs> okay. Of, what kind of like um? What kind of like shows or like what's his, what 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 do you like to watch him? 
that uh like, do you watch tv and stuff or listen to music like what's what's your um... he loves jacques um, yeah we finally got to meet him he was so excited really how'd that yeah. happen yeah um, our assistant, she put it together. She'd be sending videos and she'd be working her butt off. If we say, hey, we want to meet this person or we want to do this, she'd be, she'd be working. And they called her, had it set up, and I got everything for him. I videotaped it and we got her to get down here and we went there. He brought us backstage and it was very like an intimate moment. Like it wasn't a bunch of people. We didn't have a bunch of people. It was so nice. They took pictures. He was just patient. It was, it was nice. That's so cool. I also um, have interviewed Jacques before and he's such a sweet guy. So that was, that's awesome. That's awesome. That's dope. So what, what, like, did, does he watch? Did he sing for you? You. It was front row at the show with his shirt off. Security yeah. was like, hey, come on. <laughs> I love that. That's hilarious. Um, what about what about like TV shows and movies and stuff like or or maybe like watching a game? Like is he you watching a game yeah. and stuff? No, he don't watch the game. Um I feel like he'll watch whatever I watch. Like I'd be like, Baby won't watch sisters. We'd be sitting here watching sisters mm-hmm. and we'd be on Tubi. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah. Uh, Basketball wise, we be watching everything. Uh, yeah. yeah, we be just. Chilling. You be, you ain't never watched Black Ink, Javon? Oh, hell yeah! He wanted to get <laughs> Ryan or Caesar. Oh, nice. Okay. He, he had it up, and that'd be another thing. People be like, "How he got his tattoos?" I'm like, "He wasn't born like this. He got injured." Right. No, he so he, got he said he wanted. <laughs> oh, okay. So you said he wanted tattooed by Ryan or Caesar? Yeah. I, I ain't gonna lie. I, I have Ryan blocked. I have Ryan blocked, but. You know, maybe I could figure something out. Maybe I could unlock him. You connect, <laughs> connect, connect, connect tattoo, your assistant you know? to. Uh, yeah, I'm a. Which one you like better, Ryan or Caesar? Ryan. Ryan. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm have to unblock Ryan and set this up. You know, because because oh, Chicago, oh, Chicago and Minneapolis is real close. Now, now, now you sure you? you it it might have been a long time since you got a tattoo. You sure you could? You sure you could go through that? <laughs> you're, gonna, you're gonna have to get the you're gonna have to get the numbing cream so you don't feel it. Like he said, he Look, my boy, my said, boy nah. Jamal been through. He, my boy Jamal been through all kind of shit. A little tattoo. Well, well, where where would you get the tat? You trying to get a face tat, or you, what, what you trying to do? <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. dope. Talking about a stomach piece, Lord have mercy. And, and I'm just throwing ideas out there. I mean, you could always get your lady face on you just because she held you down. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That is so cute. That is so cute. So tell me about tell me about when Mama uh, was like, "Oh, we got somebody else," and, and Jamal moved out for thirty days. Like, and then he he came back. Look, like his arm came back. Like, uh, <laughs> yeah, that how did that go down? Like, uh, ho. did you just say ho? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, I just came. Oh, <laughs> she was only good for one thing and one thing only, huh? Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying she had a she had a big she had a big vagina? Okay, goodness. The whole thing. <laughs> so I'm gonna get a, a little intimate. I know that you two aren't together anymore, correct? Mm-hmm. Right. But he <laughs> likes it to me. He oh, like, oh. like what you mean. <laughs> no, we I feel like this. People be not understanding. We are regular couples. Like we tell our toxic stories. We tell how like we live together. And I'd be like, you paying this friend, but you're not gonna be here. You know, get your shit together. Um we we go up and down. I love him unconditionally. Um Yeah. Yeah, we are together, but if I sit here and say two months ago we wasn't, then they'd be like, Well, we still stuck on two months. And that's why I'd be like, I'd rather you not try to keep up because we're regular humans. We go through a bunch of stuff. Right. At this time right now, I feel like there's so many people that are like, Jamal, look at this girl, look at this girl, look at this girl. Like we just <laughs> are we we just we gotta get land out the way. And they just they never did this before. 
You know, this is my protector where a person couldn't look at me mad, couldn't talk crazy. And now I feel like in a way they'd be like, you kind of weak where you don't say nothing because you knew for a fact you couldn't try this. Right. And now you're just, you're doing any and everything. That's why I said things that people could try a year or two ago, he getting stronger now. We like, no. Mm -mm." Right. Like Jamal, you got a good one. mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you right now. A great one. one, Okay. Uh So, so you can't, you can't be (laughs) looking at all these other ladies and thinking you finna move out. Okay. Cause you're going to be right right back. And the fact that she took you back in, let's talk about (laughs) that. And now you are, somewhat of like a social media like celebrity you know what I mean yeah. like your story is so inspiring and what we love about the story is the two of y'all of course we love that you made it through Jamal but the the thing about it is that Lynn took you in and stayed by your side and helped and helped you get all like this far you know what I'm I saying? Think you got time. Make sure you treat your girl right because you never know what will happen. You can hurt no, your definitely. ankle. Damn. Like you just you want somebody to be there, I and know, even for him, I tell him all the time. You know, you were amazing to people because you were so arrogant, and I guess people take that as a bad thing. So they're like, yeah. you know, they don't want to be here. They they want you to feel everything that you're of going course. through. Where me, I'm of like course. a blocker. Like, mm-hmm. oh, you want him to look shitty? You get a haircut every week. I, I keep right. him dressed. I keep him still the same way y'all remember seeing him, even if you ain't even looking at him all the time. You know. Right, right now, he go to the club and people be like, I thought he just, he got shot. You you don't know if he could talk, walk, nothing, get out of his business, but he looked the same. You couldn't tell me if you looked at him right now, he got shot in the head. No, no not, not at all. Not at all. You know, like, I mean, on him. How did the story go viral? Hmm? How did the story go viral? I think because people I just, you- um, the, the first video that went viral was... Him and his son was playing basketball, and I think his son was on his back, and they were shooting hoops. And that was the door for me, like, oh, you guys accept my family. Because for me, he's my sensitive spot. I feel like people, when they want to do low blows, they'll try to say some slick stuff. So that was like, oh, my God, like, y'all like this. Y'all cool with this. If, If I posted that and people said so many mean things, nobody would even know. Because right. I'd be on the internet ready to beat everybody up of and course, of course. I'd be losing my mind. But it ended up being something that people want to see. Everything really the Even Jamal is like that. When people be talking stuff, he'd be the same way. Like, I got the daddies. What's up? Like, right, get in an right, order. Right. Uh, like, daddy. Uh, <laughs> it's so funny. I, I feel uh, like. Oh, go ahead, uh, Jamal. Uh, I, I, uh, oh, yeah, uh, 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 you said you're talking about what? You whooped his ass. You whooped his ass. You procrastinated him. Like, right, uh, right. Oh, he, 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 he got the fight. He had to put the pause on somebody. They, they thought he wasn't going. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they got oh. That's the number one thing that I don't care if you, his, his family, his friend, you know, Jamal is a protector. So for him, I know it, it's difficult sometimes, but he's trying really, really hard to get there. Especially without yeah. his voice, he want to walk and he want to be able to like boss up. Right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. 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 People, I feel like I see so much like progress, I guess, in where he was in the hospital to like where he is now. Is it expected for him to like continue to progress? Yeah, yeah. It wasn't even expected for him to do this, to be honest. They were like, yeah. he ain't going to never walk. He ain't going to talk. He ain't going to have no personality. They say he was going to be like my son when he sees you, when you come back home from work. And that's how they left it. So for me, it was just kind of like knowing your partner. Like, he eat healthy. He work out every day. Like, I know you can do this. I know you could do this. Right. Like, I'm on you. I'm working yeah, hard yeah, on you. Yeah. She was and on your back. Huh? That's what it is. Yeah. Like people are like that, like, oh, she's she's so tough. Well, look how far it got him, you know? Right. Yeah. yeah I mean, no, right. Get up, yeah, get I on can... it. Get up, get on it. We only you get have over. to be that. You have to Yeah, you can't accept you can't accept what, what these doctors are telling you. Exactly. Um, with the power of God and also just like all these 
things that God's made, like natural supplements and nat- minerals yes. and all different types right of things. There. If I would have knew about like all these herbs and stuff, I feel like he'd even be further. But two, I, I still think that he needs his brothers and his friends for his strength. Yeah. You know, I can yeah. only do so much and physically, right. it, it'd be hard. So you know, do, and do the guys together as a team for right. that part. And I know Don comes around, but do the guy, do you ever put him in like, obviously he went to the club and like, you know, but do you ever like purposely put him in situations that are kind of nostalgic for him? Things that he always used to do. Mm, No, I'm I'm trying to get him to get on a new leaf, like leave a lot of the old stuff alone, go and have a good time sometimes, but get on a new leaf, find new friends. Cause you see the people who was there, they're not there, you know, so. And that's yeah, it's, hard it's, for him because now that that bone is back in, he like, well, I'm used to doing this, you know, and we, we argue about that because I'm like, well, I don't think it's good for you to go. I don't want you to go there. It ain't safe. And he like, who, who going to touch me? You know? And I'm like, I don't want to go yeah. through this situation again. So we, you, we still. You got to look at it like this. You know, God gave you another chance not to go backwards. you got to go forwards. And guess what? There is a better life out there. You guys just got to find it, you know what I mean? When it comes to what is your dreams and aspirations, like you're here for another shot. Yeah. 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 So it's like, what's your dreams, your aspirations? And as you're on that journey, you know, doing everything you need to do to continue to develop and be better and get back to the physical part of you, but still being a new person. I think... TikTok played a, a huge part in it. Um, Jamal just likes to sit and, and vibe and talk to people. And mm-hmm. he's got so much support. It yeah. sucks that the internet had to be where he got his support when, you know, where we are. Right. We should have a bunch of people. But when stuff changes and I feel like you don't have no more benefit, it's like it changes. Like, right. you ain't got no money, so I know you ain't going to pay for the food. And you can't drive, so... You know, where he used to be able to do everything and he was like a, a tug. I want to go with him. No, I want to go with him. Where now it's right. like people, they kind of come around because they see like the internet stuff. But I tell them, you want genuine people. You want people who yeah, have been. Yeah. This was a hard. This yeah, was hard. Yeah. Our baby was one, he was a year, but he was still not a year because he came early. So I was still like pumping with him well, cleaning his trach and taking care of him with his diaper and taking care of him with his diaper and my mom and Don, them is how I was able to stay sane. Like, yeah. you don't know, this was yeah. a, a long journey that we didn't document a lot of stuff because it was just like a focus type of thing. Yeah, it was yeah, just absolutely. Was the internet, there's so much stuff that people didn't see to him getting here now. He got before pictures that he got to see that's like, damn, that was me? Right. Yeah. Like, Things yeah, that you don't necessarily was, remember. He was... was he was messed up, you know? Yeah. I would look at all those people. Wonderful. Not, I would look at all those people that didn't come around as a as a blessing, man. Mm-hmm. Honestly. Because yeah. you know, the people that you your family and not everybody that's your family is your friend. Mm-hmm. You know, you it's very uh-huh. hard to see who's uh-huh. your enemy and yeah. not, you know what I mean? So it's like this is a brand new leaf. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? Take advantage. You know, yeah. the world is yours. <laughs> I am. I am. That's amazing, brother. It was so amazing talking to y'all. I feel like I was scrolling through TikTok uh, and I seen Jamal like on TikTok Live. I was like, you better. You be on TikTok Live, Jamal? All the time. Mm -hmm. And (laughs) the thing has stayed the same. He used to be on Facebook Live showing his painting and stuff. So people always think it's me. No. He he, he paints? He was already on live on Facebook. He's a painter? Do you still paint, Javon? Yeah. Trying to get back into his contracts and stuff. So he's definitely on the right side. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Even if he can't do much, I would definitely advise you guys to get on that because guess what? People's going to buy those paintings and support. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, yeah, man, get get on your get, get on your Michelangelo swag. Get on your Picasso swag. 
You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to... You're, you're I, I, so funny. Me and wife will buy your first painting, man. Get yeah. on that. Get on live. You know, get, get, Look some, at get some canvas. <laughs> <laughs> get, some, get, a, get a blank canvas and, 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 and put all your emotions on that, you know, and, and, and really get like, your um, back. houses and apartments and... Oh, 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 oh. oh. Got it. So when we like were building. showing people, they were like, "Oh, well, I'll let him come and paint a room here." And oh, you know, like you mean like physical? Okay. Yeah, he paint well, paint. He got a spray right. and everything. Right. Wow. That, that's that's dope. Yeah, definitely get back into that. And, yeah, you know, yeah. 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 You know, so yeah, I, I was, I, yeah, I was talking about like actually because if he's on live, like if you can imagine like him just being artistic on a blank canvas and like. And people will buy those. Like TikTok Live, you know how they be, people be doing a TikTok shop and stuff. Yeah. Like I can imagine, let's say you set up a business on TikTok Live for his paintings and he paints on live for people. And even like, no matter what it is, it's I know a, it's they a good, get support. It's a good way just to also just ex express himself, being that he's developing, you know, you're developing your speech back and you know, it's a good way to 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 say something Ooh. on that canvas. We're idea generators, Jamal. Like so <laughs> you like, oh shit, no <laughs> level unlocked. Okay, mm -hmm. so I'm gonna be looking yeah. out for those TikTok lives, Jamal. I'm gonna be and he out. needs like different ways, and that's what has been a struggle. Is what's something different that I know you don't want to do, but let's try it and see if you like it, anyways. You know? Yeah. So try that try to get something him. Different. Yeah. Try to get him. You know, go to Michaels or wherever. Get some blank canvases, like Meek said, some paint colors, and I can promise you the support's gonna be there. People are gonna buy those, and next thing you know, y'all making six figures off TikTok Live painting. Okay, yeah, because it's possible for sure. It's possible, and then Jamal, you are gonna have to get Lynn some nice jewelry or something, okay, something yeah, real yeah. nice. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, <laughs> I, <laughs> but I. This is the first interview. I feel like we've had where I really connected with the other couple and like just your story and just I'm so proud of the both of you Definitely. for sticking it through and like you know Jamal I'm so happy you're alive and Lynn I'm so happy that you did not pull the plug on him like that really does show unconditional love and um I can only imagine the stress that you were under oh yeah you know uh, yeah. Yeah, so she a good one. She a good one, and <laughs> definitely got to keep that. Okay. Uh, I, 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 I love it. <laughs> yeah, you gotta oh. keep that, brother. You gotta, you gotta lock keep that. that. Lock it we, down. Don't, we don't want her with nobody else now. Come on, and man. We don't want that. We don't want that. And she's and she's beautiful, Jamal. I mean, you know it don't get no cuter than Lynn. Okay, she is fine. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, hold on tight, brother. Hold on she tight. She got baddie, all right? Okay? She, she <laughs> keep her hair done just like yours, okay? Nah, God, God bless y'all, man. Uh, yeah. I, I would, and definitely God bless your mother as well. You know, I could feel the energy and the love, um, the support. And, uh, you know, I wish you guys the best, man. I hope you guys get everything you desire. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it so much. Yeah. And I hope to meet y'all. If y'all ever come to LA, please let us know. I'm going to um, figure out this whole Ryan thing. I'm going to see how I'm going to go back. <laughs> <laughs> but I got you, Jamal. I got you. For whatever reason, if I can't get in contact with Ryan, I know that I can contact Caesar because we're still good. So. <laughs> yeah. Y'all flight. Yeah. Oh, so y'all will come to Chicago. We come to Chicago, come to LA. We out of here. It's cold. Okay. Okay. I know, right? Well, if y'all come it's to cold, LA, it's cold over here too. So you got to wait a couple of weeks. <laughs> yeah, if y'all come to LA, let us know for sure. Oh yeah, it's so yeah. amazing. Uh -huh. It's lit. It's lit, Jamal. We outside. Okay. I can tell Jamal. Jamal used to like being outside, huh? He was an outside type of guy. <laughs> I was telling my live the other day that when I was pregnant, it was New Year's, and he had us outside moving like Michelle Obama, like a trail of people, making sure don't nobody touch this belly, don't nobody mm. get close. When I say like that be the stuff, Robbie, I just can't wait until we're completely back there. There's nothing that's more attractive than like you don't see these people, y'all can't come over here. You right. don't see this man, y'all can't move over here. Like right. yeah. we're just. <laughs> <laughs> 
I love this for y'all. Well, thank you so much for this wonderful interview. I'm so happy that you saw my message on TikTok because I'm Me not big too. on TikTok. I got like 300 followers on TikTok and I'm like, oh, I hope she like sees this. I didn't know if you knew who I was. Um, I'm like, oh, I hope she knows Charmaine. Like, please give me this interview. <laughs> But thank you yeah, yeah. so much. Definitely. You guys are thank amazing. You too. We appreciate Big it. inspiration. Yes, much love.